sometimes we would want to give a credential or whether it's a support ticket that we open on another website or a plugin that we want to help on the matter or whatever it is we want to open a temporary login credentials so in this video i'll be showing you a very handy wordpress plugin that you can use for that purpose so without further ado let's get started when you logged in into your wp admin dashboard what you want to do is head over to plugins add new plugin and over here in the search box what you want to do is search for temporary login oops i had a typo there and it's right this plugin temporary login without a password by store apps so head over and install this plugin and activate it once you've activated it will redirect you into the dashboard of the temporary logins where you can create a new account of your choice so it will be under the users and temporary logins if you search for it or you've been not being redirected to it or you had an error or something of the matter once you're in here you can create a new one by inserting a new mail first name a last name if you want to and you can give him or give that person or that third party or whoever it is a role you can set him whether it's administrator editor and all all those roles that you can usually have on WordPress. Over here, you can set where he's gonna be redirected once he's clicked the URL that you will see in a few minutes in this tutorial, which you can see is redirect after login and you can choose where he's gonna be redirected to, where it's gonna be the dashboard, system default, website homepage, or check out my account, product page, checkout, checkout nested, and all those things. Also, you can set when it's gonna be expired. It's gonna be expired in a week, in an hour, three hours, one day. You can give him an access after one hour or three days or anything of your choice you can also customize the date as over you want i'll be setting it to three days you can also set the language which you want to for example if you're speaking in a foreign language whether you're in any part of the world and also that depends on if your wordpress website supports that language so i head over and pre-fill these ones this is obviously for only the tutorial matter so this is obviously not a valid email but it will get through so let's submit this one and the next thing that you'll see is you'll get here a temporary login url what you want to do is send this over to person you, you want that will have this access you will see here the users you'll see the mail you'll see the role over here you'll see the last login that he've logged into the number of times he logged into and the expiry date also you can manage here the actions you can see here whether it's disabled you can disable it if you want to you can either delete it you can edit it for example if you want to enable a little bit more time or that person was not be able to fit into those three days and you want to extend it a little bit you can also resend it or send it by mail as you can see here email login link and also you can copy the link if for example this one is not displayed or you enter this page after you've refreshed or this one is not appearing for some reason also you have other settings if you get over over here to settings you'll see here that you can see the visible roles you can disable or enable some roles you can set the default role that you want to enable once you log in or once you're creating this link also you can define the redirect after login link predefined all these options are for you so you can do it more faster or just to get your time management a little bit better for if you're sending a lot of those links i hope you don't but obviously it's only up to you you can also delete the plugin data on uninstall that would be also handy so it will not take or leave any traces on your hosting files also when you're done with it just hit the submit and that will save the changes so you have also system info if for some reason you need it you have it over here here you have other awesome plugins that it comes from this creator of this plugin and yeah that's uh, pretty much it now you know how you can enable or get this access or this time frame for this person or third party who whoever it is that you want to give this temporary login access and if you like this video i'll be really glad if you leave thumbs up really helps me that means a lot to me i'm making weekly tutorials tips tricks on the matter of wordpress elementor and woocommerce so if you're into that consider subscribing and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one